Happy Monday and happy Thanksgiving. Week of Thanksgiving here. Woo. Woo woo. I've got Terry here in the office if you guys have not met Terry. Hello. Hello. Terry is a rock star. And if you've called in over the past, good night, what, six years? Seven years? A hundred years? It feels like a hundred years. Yeah, right? So uh, <laughs> if you've called in in the past, you've probably spoke to Terry. She is phenomenal and takes, a, takes great care of our clients. So uh, we made a post this morning talking about auto policies. And it was kind of a funny post. Um, Talking about loaning a friend your car and he texts you and then uh, all of a sudden you get a text saying, hey, um, make sure the airbags work and your car's wrecked. So have you ever uh, talked to clients that have what's called a stated auto? Do you want to explain what a stated auto policy is? Um, stated auto would be if they lent their car to somebody else, but that person is not covered under their policy. Okay. So, so break that down a little bit more, right? So stated auto policies are ones where, and, and the most common in Texas, right? Most companies have a stated auto. They just don't tell you that. So what that means is that uh, you have to be listed on the policy and you have to be listed in the car. So if I have a stated auto policy and I don't list you on mm -hmm. the vehicle and you get in an accident, then the insurance company has the right to deny the coverage, right? So most companies are that way. So make sure that your policies are not stated auto. If you want to know uh, what are, you can um, either A, get on uh, OPRA.org, uh, which is Office of Public Insurance Council, uh, or sorry, OPIC, not OPRA, OPIC, uh, and look up what's stated and what's not, or uh, reach out to us, or you can reach out to your agent and ask. So make sure that your policy, your auto policy covers all the drivers driving the policies. Uh, the likelihood of them denying a claim when it's small is pretty Pretty small, right? So if you have a $5,000 claim, probably not going to deny it. Um, but what if your son hits somebody and causes $30,000, $50,000 worth of damage? Um, they're going to come back in and say, yeah, so sorry, he wasn't listed on the policy. We're not going to cover it. Um, we've actually had that happen two different times. In our agency, if you don't remember, we had a client no. call. Yeah, so uh, she had an accident. We insured the, uh, uh, the car. We insured the, um, uh, the person. Our insured called us. She had loaned her car to another person. That person got in an accident and uh, the other company wouldn't cover it because the car uh, wasn't on the list and on the policy. So they wouldn't cover it. So she had to claim it against our policy, put it as comprehensive, or sorry, as collision, uh, and ended up uh, having to pay the deductible for that. So mm -hmm. make sure you know what your coverages are, right? An auto policy uh, is is not they're not all written the same. A home policy is not all written the same. So what really matters is what's inside the policy, right? So what matters is what's inside. What's inside that counts. Oh, oh very good, guys. Have a phenomenal Thanksgiving. Uh, be thankful. Attitude of gratitude. Um, give back as much as you can to those less fortunate this week. Terry, you have anything else? Um, happy Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much to wear your pants no longer fit. Um, okay, there you go. That's weird. I, they, I mean, whatever. We are having a little Thanksgiving at the office tomorrow. If you guys want to stop by and have some turkey, we'll have some there. So. Hopefully if it's defrosted, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, just saying. I'll come live for you tomorrow so you can see what's going on. You guys have a great Thanksgiving from all of us here at Pain Insurance Group.